Every time we set up incandescent lights in a room with a low ceiling, the same terrible thought crosses our mind. What if we accidentally set off a sprinkler head? Is it even a realistic concern? Do our lights really get that hot? Well, after years of wondering, we decided to find out. We set out to answer a simple question. If we put a hot video light directly under a sprinkler head, would the sprinkler head get so hot that it would start spraying water everywhere, causing damage and embarrassment to all parties involved? To find out, we built a miniature version of a real sprinkler system. There's a connection to the water supply, in this case a garden hose, a sprinkler head, a flush valve, and a flow switch. In a real system, the flow switch sets off the fire alarm. But in this experiment, we're using it as a very important safety mechanism. When the sprinkler head goes off, it immediately cuts power to the light. We also attached temperature sensors to the board, just so we could keep an eye on how close we were getting to the sprinkler head's 155 degree Fahrenheit threshold. It's a common misconception, by the way, that when one sprinkler head goes off, they all go off. But in the vast majority of systems, that's not how it works. Most of the time, each sprinkler head goes off individually. There's a tiny glass bulb full of colorful liquid that literally explodes when it hits a certain temperature. If you're just worried about smoke, like when you tape some diffusion to the wrong part of a light, there's a small chance that you'll set off the fire alarm system, but you probably don't have to worry about getting drenched. We started our test with a basic Home Depot style work light. The great thing about these, they're waterproof. So for the purpose of this experiment, they're not quite as much of a hazard. So Aaron, what do you think is gonna happen? Um, well, I think that at the foot mark, it's not going to uh, really do much, but if you move it really close, then it's probably gonna be a problem. Okay. How about you, what do you think? I think it's gonna take a lot to set this thing off, but 155 degrees is not that much. It's true. We'll just have to see. And would you flip the water switch? Go for it. Here we go. The lower one. Now go ahead and flip the top switch. For trial number one, the work light hovered 12 inches below the sprinkler head. Is that the one closest? That's the one that's a sprinkler, yeah, that one. So that one's getting a little bit. And then is this the one that's farthest away? Farthest away, yep. Science is a lot of waiting. Mm-hmm. There's actual water in the pipes. <laughs> After an uneventful five minutes, which was the duration of each test, we raised the stakes a little bit. This time, the light was only six inches away. Once again, no deployment, and the temperature sensors didn't get anywhere close to 155. We figured that, just maybe, this type of work light doesn't disperse very much heat. So we swapped it out for what some would consider to be the real deal, six inches away from the sprinkler head. So, water first. <laughs> That's the spirit. As the test went on, we began to lose faith in the accuracy of our temperature sensors. Yeah, that's a lot better That than one before. seems like an outlier. And it's so far away. No. But in any case, the sprinkler head still held out. So for one final test, we put the light a mere two inches away from the sprinkler head. I'm afraid this is gonna be like a huge boom. <laughs> this is like killing my nerves. I know, like, I have like, one edge. Uh, and finally, four minutes into the test, So it awesome. did it! <laughs> At four minutes, on, we have lift off. We have achieved. <laughs> oh, we have achieved nirvana. Oh, oh my goodness! All the like anticipations. Oh, that wasn't that bad though. It wasn't. Perfect. So it actually is a risk. Like if you have your camera too close to the sprinkler, it could potentially go off. That's pretty close, but it definitely makes a difference. I mean, yeah, we've been in scenarios before where we put one up and gone, oh shoot, there's a sprinkler head. Good stuff. Kids, let this be a lesson to you. Don't put your lights too close to the sprinklers. Six inches is okay. <laughs> Seems to be. We figured, of course, that heat couldn't be the only way to set off a sprinkler head. After all, most video shoots involve a lot of hardware, and all it takes is one moment of inattentiveness to... Well, as we discovered, these things are a bit tougher than we thought. Oh my god! 
As far as we can tell, a sprinkler head's only real weakness is heat. You might have noticed by now that there is one major flaw with our experiment. It's pretty rare for video lights to be used for only five minutes at a time. So we did one more test. This time, we left the light on for an hour. Once again, there wasn't a drop of water to be seen. In conclusion, it seems like you have to be pretty negligent to set one of these off. But just to be sure, one way to tell if you're getting too hot is to use the touch test. If the metal deflector on the bottom of the sprinkler is hot to the touch, it's a good idea to let things cool down a bit. In any case, we are not liable for any damages, and it's probably a bad idea to try to cover or bypass or block any sort of fire safety mechanism, even if you promise to put it back the way it was when you're done. That's all for now. We got more experiments coming up soon, so check us out at fixingyourvideo.com.